Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Chelsea Table and Stage. We are, th thank you. We are so excited to have you here tonight. Just a few announcements from the house before we get started. If you need the restroom during the show, it's located to the back and to the right of the bar. If you need service during the show, just turn off that lamp on your table, the button's on the base, and one of our servers will come over and give you a hand. We have some great things coming up here at Chelsea Table and Stage. We have a fantastic New Year's Eve event tomorrow evening. We still have tickets. It is The Romp on 26th and features burlesque performers, DJ A-Ball, dancing, past hors d'oeuvres, open bar. It's going to be fantastic. So if you need tickets, just hop up and see me after, after the show. And we also have great shows coming up in January. If you need to see our calendar, head to ChelseaTableAndStage.com. And now, please give a warm welcome to the Eric Stern Quintet.
Thank you, thank you. How's everybody doing? Wow, this is really um, amazing just to have this kind of support um, for a show like this. It's really, it's really awesome to see everyone who made it out tonight. Um, that first tune was a piece I composed this past summer. I listened to a lot of um, the John Coltrane Quartet, but I checked out all of John Coltrane's records, and I think there was a couple pieces in the later idiom of that group, like 63 to 65, 1963 to 1965, that I really, um, I really liked that feeling um, that that group created. And so that last piece was an attempt to recreate that, um, and that was called Eyes Forward. We're going to continue now with a tune that emerges two separate themes. The first theme is my love of Moonchild. We got any Moonchild fans in the house? Oh. Come on, man. Okay, well, that's homework. Homework before the next time we meet, yeah? Yeah? Okay, great, great, like, neo-soul, R&B, cosmic production band. Fantastic, fantastic. Um, and so, so there's that theme. And then the next theme is the concept that um, I was out at Smalls and other jam sessions this summer a lot. And... If for any musicians in the house, and I see some of you, you know that Smalls, the jam session ends at 3 in the morning, every night. Monday night, Sunday night, Friday night, 3 a.m. You know, messes up your sleep schedule, but, you know, come on. You have to do it. But because I was finished at 3, I'd get home at 4. So I went to bed a lot at 4. And I don't know, I have mixed feelings about that. But it inspired the title of this next song. This is called Child of 4 AM. I should have done this before. Oops.
So while our uh, friend Mr. Blake Aldridge is uh, finishing setting up his bass, I'm going to quickly introduce the band. One reason that this gig is really special for me is this is the first time that the guys that I met where I go to music school, the Frost School of Music in Miami. <laughs> we, got, we, got a, we got a couple in here. We got a couple. I see you. I see you. Okay, but... It's cool because these guys came in to New York for this gig, you know, and I told them when, you know, we had it, and they were like, I was like, I don't know if this is worth it. We might, we might lose money. I don't know. And they were like, nah, man, we want to we wanna come. We're going to do it. We're going to kill it. Um, and it's been amazing just showing them around the city. You know, it's kind of my present co merging with, like, my present in, like, breaks, but, like, not school present. So it's, it's interesting. Um, oh, one thing I forgot to mention is hello to everyone on the stream. I see you somewhere. You're in there. You're in there. But for people watching around the country, because these guys are from around the country, you know, they all didn't make the trip. Um, but there's people watching. So I'm going to introduce the hometown of each of these guys before I introduce their name. We have, from Sarasota, Florida, we have the incomparable Luca Stein. Yeah. From St. Petersburg, Florida, the man with unbeatable fashion, we have Dylan McCann. <laughs> On the drums, man, this guy and I, we've been playing together for a long time. So many, so many different things. Best time the bandstand? I don't know. What do you guys think? Best time the bandstand? Yeah. It's pretty good, right? Yeah. From Seattle, Washington, Henry Moore on the drums. Yeah. And finally, from Dallas, Texas, the wild one, we have Blake Aldridge. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Um, okay, so that was Child of 4 a.m. The next tune we're going to play is not an original. So this tune is, I, is it? I don't know if it's 16th century England or 16th century Scotland. They don't, they don't, they don't have a composer for this one. Um, but it's been a folk song that we sung in my childhood, and you know, I, I decided that I wanted to arrange it because I kind of liked the feeling of it. So this is my arrangement of Scarborough Fair.
So that was Scarborough Fair. Um, OK, so this next piece we're going to do is in another original of mine. Um, this spring, uh, I studied abroad at the Conservatory von Amsterdam in Amsterdam. And I had an amazing time. I loved it. Um, one of the really interesting class offerings that they had for me was I had a lyric writing class. Um, I had never written lyrics before. And so I figured I might as well give this a try. Um, and so because of that, there arose this piece, which I have written both the lyrics and the music for. Um, so we're going to feature uh, one of our vocalist friends from Frost. Um, and this, this woman, I've, I've been playing duo with her and you know, in, in different settings with her for a number of years now since we, were, we started in the same year at Frost. And it's been really cool to watch her grow and watch her mature as a vocalist and a lyricist and a song stylist and an improviser and all the above. So please give a warm welcome to our guest vocalist, Joey Bianco.
before I go How about another hand for Joey Bianco? Come on, guys. Yeah, yeah. Great. Okay. Um, is it trio time? I think it's trio time. Um, oh, wait. No, no. We're doing that, right? Okay. Okay, we're doing that. Good. Good. Yeah, trio, time. trio time? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. So this tune I composed... Um, Actually, about a year ago, maybe a little more now. That, I don't know. <laughs> um, so earlier this year, um, or actually, no, late last year in November, um, we had a dog. Her name was Missy. And she passed away about a year ago. Um, she just had, like, cancer and infection, and um, it, just, it just wasn't going to work out. Um, and that night, I was in Miami. I was not um, at school. And so I wanted to write a tune about the meaning of that, but I, it was hard because I wasn't, like, there to feel like I wasn't there with my family to bring her to the vet to put her down. I just saw it through the phone. Um, and I think with, with COVID and stuff, you know, I think we've kind of had to get used to that of, maybe experiencing a loss through the camera instead of in person. Um, and then on, while I was abroad in Amsterdam, I, we had another loss and where my, my grandparents died, um, both of them on my mother's side. So this tune that I wrote, and again, it was the same situation where I was away in Amsterdam. I missed all of that because it was just like the logistics of getting back for you know the processions and stuff was was too difficult um but i wrote this tune and i think it has a lot of meaning for me in terms of a remembrance to them and kind of that feeling of feeling loss through the camera so this is called virtual presence
Thank you, everyone. Where's my, where's the, uh, where's the guys? There they are. All right, good. They're coming back. Um, all right. I'm, I'm really, I'm really excited for this next one, guys. It's going to be, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's a little surprise. Okay, I got, I got a question. How many people had their birthday this month? Oh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. It's time for our celebration. I hope you enjoyed that. I was for you and, and for you and everyone else, who, everyone else who has a December birthday. No. Okay, this next one um, is an original that I composed this semester um, at the early stages of this semester. I was uh, listening again. Um, so I listened to John Coltrane in the summer. And um, when I got to school, I got really into the immaculate saxophonist Emmanuel Wilkins and really started listening to him a lot. Um, he's a more modern voice, released his first album in, in 2020. Um, but there's a particular track of his that I like call, called The Dreamer. And I really liked the emotion, again, that this kind of, that this track conveyed um, when I was listening to it. And so I decided that um, I was going to write a tune in that vein, in that feeling. Um, for a, a quintet, a group like this. So this one is called Flames on Sand.
So unfortunately, I think we have only one more for you. This is very, very sad. But catch me at my next shows, whenever they are. I don't know when they are yet, but I'll let you know. Um, well, this last piece um, is another piece I composed while I was abroad in Amsterdam. Um, I composed the separate parts, but they were about similar things. Um, I experienced in my time abroad multiple crossroads in terms of like a decision I had to make or just something I had to figure out. You know, it's like, what was I, I going to do this or take this path? And, you know, and throughout my time, there were many different crossroads that I experienced. And so I decided, I wrote a piece for some of them. And so I decided to put these together um, into this final piece that we're going to play, which is a three part called Crossroads Suite. Before we begin, I'm going to introduce the band one more time. From si no, he's not from Sarasota. From St. Pete, Florida, we have Dylan McCann on the tenor saxophone. Yeah, give it up. This guy, he's from Sarasota, Florida. Mr. Luca Stein. <laughs> All right. From Seattle, Washington, Henry Moore on the drums. All night long. All night long. And on the bass, Mr. Blake Aldridge. All right. This is Crossroads Suite.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
All right. That's it. That last one. Thank you. Come on, guys. Come up. Come up. Can you guys come up to the front somehow? One more time. That's Lucas Stein, Dylan McCann, Henry Moore, Blake Aldrich. My name is Eric Stern. We are the Eric Stern Quintet. Thank you so much for coming, and we will see you next time. Thank you. All right, bow. One, two. <laughs> and Joey. P.S. One little tidbit. So I was going to advertise Joey's show at Burnland coming up this Monday. But I don't need to because it's sold out. <laughs> <laughs>